Question 18 from Section 1 of the 2019 Higher Physics Examination. A ray of monochromatic light passes from air into water. The wavelength of this light in air is 589 nanometers, and the speed of this light in water is, and we're given five options. Now let's take a look at the ray diagram of what's happening. You can see we have medium 1 representing the air, and medium 2 representing the water and theta1 representing the angle of incidence in the air with the normal, and theta2 representing the angle of refraction with the ray in the water. If we look at equations from the data sheet, we're given the following. Now, you can see from that there's no angles mentioned in this question, so we can't use the angles. So it's got to be the refractive index. So sine theta1 with sine theta2, we can change that for the refractive index. So we have the refractive index is going to equal to lambda in the air, lambda 1, divided by lambda in the, in the water, lambda 2. And also we can have refractive index is equal to speed of the light in air, divided by speed of the light in the medium. So it all depends on us finding the refractive index. And the clue is in the wavelength, because if we go to our data sheet, we'll see something like this. The refractive indices. The refractive indices refer to sodium light of wavelength 589 nanometers. That's the clue. So for that wavelength, the refractive index of water will appear as 1.33. So we now have the refractive index of the water for this wavelength of light. N equals 1.33. Now, that means we can use the following. We know the refractive index. We know the refractive index. We know the wavelength of the light in the air. We don't know it in the, in the water, but we can find it now. We know the speed of light in the air. That's 3 times 10 to the power 8. So we know that V1 is equal to 3 times 10 to the power 8 meters per second. So right away we can use this equation here to work out the speed of the light in the water, which is V2. So if we rearrange that, we get the following. We get V2, the speed of light in water, is equal to the speed of light in air divided by the refractive index. And just simply put in the numbers now, 3 times 10 to the power 8 is the speed of light in the air divided by 1.33, which is the refractive index, we'll find from the refractive indices part of our data sheet. We do that in our calculator, and we end up with the speed of light in the water is going to be 2.26 on our calculator, times 10 to the power 8 metres per second. And that will give us answer C. Question 19 from Section 1 of the 2019 Higher Physics Examination. When light passes through the outer layers of the sun, certain frequencies of light are absorbed by the hydrogen atoms, producing dark lines in the spectrum. The diagram represents some of the energy levels for a hydrogen atom. The number of absorption lines in the spectrum caused by the transition of electrons between these energy levels is, and we're given our five choices. Well, let's be systematic and ordered when working this out. We'll start with the electrons on the bottom energy level, the ground energy level E0. Now, they could be absorbed and they could be promoted to the top energy level E4. Now, likewise, they could be on the E0 and they could be absorbed to that energy level E3. Or they could be absorbed to energy level E2. Or it could be absorbed to energy level E1. So there's four possible lines, but the electron could also be sitting on energy level E1. That could be absorbed up to E4, or it could be absorbed up to E3, or it could be absorbed up to E2. So you've got another three. Now what about the electron sitting in that energy level here? Well, it could be absorbed up to E4, or it could be absorbed up to E3. That gives you another two. And finally, if the electron is sitting at E3, it only can be absorbed up to one energy level, E4. So there you have all the situations here. You have four possible lines here. 
you have three possible lines here, two possible lines here, and one possible line there. So in total, you have got 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1, which is going to give you 10. So you're going to see on the spectrum 10 dark lines where the photons have been removed. So 10 lines is what you're looking for.